Welcome back to another Star vs. the Forces of Evil review. In this episode, we'll be looking at two episodes, uh, Club Snubbed and Stranger Danger. I'm going to try to keep these short because if you can't tell, I'm sick as hell right now. And uh, this, this is going to sound bad, so yeah. Uh, but I say keep it short, and knowing me, this will probably be like 20 minutes. <laughs> so... Uh, two episodes. They're both um, they're both fine. One's more comedic. The other one's a little bit more serious, setting up the grander plot. I'm definitely far more interested in the second one, and I don't hate the first one at all. It has some good moments, right? So, club snubbed. It starts off. There's this silver bell ball where all the families of Muni get together to celebrate the unite the united of the kingdom or how these families work together right and there's a freaking chicken with like human legs that's fucking hysterical just look at that that's so freaking funny or it's it's not a chicken it's a pigeon it, 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 without the legs it looks like a freaking chicken though and then, uh, so one of the kingdoms is the demon kingdom, or what, one of the lords and ladies is demons, which aren't demons monsters, what? But, th so the demon king is just a normal guy, but the demon queen, that's, f that's also hysterical, oh my gosh, the demon queen is great, or lord and lady, whatever the hell, it, it doesn't fucking matter, stop complaining. <laughs> God, I'm I'm too bitter right now. Uh, you'll you'll see tomorrow. But um, it's so they're basically all the families dance with all the other families, right? Guys and girls, girls and girls, guys and guys. So usually Tom and Star dance, right? Because that's how this works, right? And they're the big couple, right? But Tom keeps avoiding Sna Star. And Ponyhead's like, oh, he's club snubbing you to make you jealous, right? You know, those th that thing that... I've never actually heard the term club snub, but I've definitely seen both girls and guys do this before. So yeah, so they start dancing with all the other families. It's, it's fun, right? You get a bunch of dances, them just being pettier and pettier, right? As they keep annoying one another. And the families, the parents start to panic because it's like, oh crap, are they actually going to dance with one another? And no, Star chooses to dance with Manfred because pettiness. And then Star kind of flips, the, or Tom flips the fuck out on her because he's, he's trying to be nice because he thinks Marco and Star are dating even though we know they aren't. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> Not this episode. But, um... So T Tom and Star kind of make up, or they're mad at each other, but the kingdoms are like about to be divided, right? Because uh, Star's father and Tom's father are fighting. So they do a dance, and it, we actually get some pretty good visuals. The flowers, the fire mixing with the butterflies, it's all nice and sweet, right? And then, then like, they go from hating each other at the beginning of the dance to actually like, yeah, no, we're pretty good at this. And they're, they're like, oh, we'll go get a corn shake, right? I have no problem with this, 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 I, my, as you know, my ship is, uh, Marco and Jackie, so Tom and Star, yeah, sure, I'm fine with, no problem with, as long as it doesn't interfere, but I keep saying I'm trying to put my ship aside, it's not help. it's not working, clearly, because this is the third time I've talked about it in three episodes, but... I, in the last one, I kept talking about, oh, my focus has changed, right? I've gone on to something new, and that's where Stranger Danger comes in. Um, this is where my focus has changed. So, this one starts off, basically, Glosseric is acting like a dog, right? He, all he can say is Glip Glorp, or whatever the hell it is. And he's, he's just being a dog, and he runs out into the garden, and is found by... Eclipsa. Now we know who Eclipsa is. Star doesn't know who Eclipsa is for the moment, and it's it's interesting because how they're framing Eclipsa here in this moment and at the end is that she is very similar to Star. Right? We see their similarities. She actually gets along with Star really well. Right? But the High Magic Commission breaks in, 
and is like, oh, we're gonna recrystallize Eclipsa, and we have to be careful because we have to check you for evil, because you may be evil, right? And they're like doing all these stupid tests, right? The high, the high magic commission is still funny, but eventually they're talking about like stars questioning, like, is she really evil? Because according to what you guys have said, all she did was marry a monster and create dark magic, right? Which I'm, I'm hoping the way they're setting this up. Is that maybe the, my new I've been call, uh, whatever my new hope my new passion with the show is that Eclipsa isn't evil because she's very similar to Star right and normally that would make a shadow character which a shadow character is fine right and Eclipsa seems like she'd be a good shadow character and she still can be but I don't want her to be evil. Because the whole, there's like the whole point of Buff Frog is to show that humans and mo um, monsters can get along, or humans or whatever the hell they're called. So Eclipse of wanting to marry a monster, it's kind of leaning more towards that, and I hope she isn't evil. Honestly, if she's evil, this show is dead to me twice over. But event what what happened? There's an interesting line in here though about how. Stars read Eclipse's chapter. It means nothing to her, but a uh, moon never even read it. And that's where we see this that's where the similarities come in. Star can read the chapter and not be affected by it at all because it's just dark magic, right? And there's all she talks about how she only created dark magic in the forbidden chapter to get what she needed done. Which is leading me to the idea that what if she isn't evil, but only knows how to get stuff done in an evil way, right? Like, she doesn't, she's trying to do, quote unquote, what she wants for herself, like, what she considers good things, but she only knows how to do things in an evil way, and she isn't actually an evil person. I'd be fine with that. And that's kind of where I'm hoping this goes. Or, well, that's one of the many directions. As long as she isn't evil, right? But Star breaks in because they're going to crystallize her again and is like, no, I, she's not evil. So they decide to hold a trial, right? Do the whole justice system thing. Um, it kind of... Uh, the way I'm hoping they go about this is kind of like uh, the, Bat, the Batman, uh, the animated series trial episode. That would be kind of interesting or, well, even Steven Universe's trial. Trial episodes can be a lot of fun and I am a big fan of them, honestly, if they're done right. But at the end of the episode, right, Eclipse and Star are talking, and we see their similarities again. They look over the roses, and look at that. They're, they're similar, right? And yeah, Shadow, but I, I, I want her to be good. I really do, because just the way they've set her up, and the way this entire show is set up, she can't be evil. It would be a, dis a disservice to everything the show stands for. And maybe all the marketing that makes her look like she's going to be evil. Maybe it's trying to trick us, right? I I have hopes and dreams and uh, they, they may not be fulfilled. And this show may be dead to me again. But only time will tell, right? And this was, as a setup to everything, this was a good episode, right? It sets up Eclipsa, it sets up the paranoia of everything, it sets up the controversy that, hey, maybe they're not right, because they can't really name anything evil Eclipsa did. So, yeah, I, I'm just curious to see where it goes from here. And yeah, next time we got, the next review is going to be different. It's already recorded, and yeah, it's it's not what you'd expect. But I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.